Okay, so first of all, I will create some random data here using the RAND formula. Then I will drag this down and this will give me random numbers between 0 and 1. Then I am going to fill in this range here with some helper columns using some formulas. So I want to separate out these values for values greater than 0.5 and less than 0.5, which is my boundary value. I'll do this using an if formula. So if this value is greater than 0 0.5, then press F4 to insert the dollar signs around that to make it an absolute cell reference. And if this is true, I'll show this value. And if it's false, the non-applicable error message. Then drag this down. And now I have only the values here which are greater than 0.5 and everything else becomes an error message. Also, as I'm using the random formula here, the numbers will update anytime I change something in the worksheet. For the less than column, I'll just drag the formula across and then drag these cell references back into the B column and change this symbol here to a less than symbol and enter, then drag this down. I now have two columns here with the values separated out, so every row should have one number and one error message. These will be the positions of my arrow heads and the non-applicable error messages will stop the other values from being plotted on the chart. Now, I also want to create the lines for my arrows and I want the lines to go from the value to the 0 0.5 boundary. So to get the length of the line, I'm going to do this value minus 0.5 and press F4 to get the dollar signs around that and then drag it down. Then for the less than lines, I need to do it the other way around. So select the boundary first and press F4, then minus the less than values and enter and drag that down. And in this way, I'm working out the difference between these values and the boundary and all of the numbers end up being positive. Now that the table is set up correctly, I'll make the chart. So select all of the X axis values, hold down control and select the greater than values. Go to insert and insert a scatter chart. I'll just make this a little bit bigger. Then select the less than column, press control C to copy and then select the chart and press control V to paste. And now I have two sets of data in this chart. The blue dots are all of the higher values and the orange dots are all of the lower values. I will be using error bars to create the lines for my arrows. So I'll add in the error bars. We don't need the X error bars, so let's delete these then select the upper error bars and press Ctrl-1 to open up the formatting bar. For these values, we only need the minus lines and no cap and customize. Then we only need the negative error values and that is going to be this column here and enter and OK. And now all of the blue dots have lines going from the blue dots down to 0 0.5. We'll do the same thing for the orange dots, but they'll be in the plus direction this time. Still no cap and customize 
and this time we want only the positive error values and they'll be less than lines and OK. And this time we have lines going from the orange dots to the 0 0.5 boundary. Now we'll format these to make them look a bit more like arrows. So go to marker options and built in, increase the size so they are much larger and change the type to a triangle. Then remove the border, add in a solid fill. I'm going to choose green and then select the error bars and also change these to green and then make the width four points. And now you can see we have what looks like upwards pointing green arrows. Now we want to do the same thing for the lower values, but for the marker options, there is no inbuilt option for a downwards pointing triangle. So we're going to have to make one. Go to insert and illustrations and shapes and select the triangle under basic shapes then try and draw the triangle so it is about the same size as one of the green triangles then remove the line from this shape and change the solid fill to red then rotate the shape by flipping it vertically and now we have the downwards pointing red triangle select it press ctrl c to copy then select the orange dots and press ctrl v to paste and now the orange dots have changed and the series data is now represented by red downwards pointing triangles we no longer need this shape here so delete it then select the error bars here and we will format them to be red to match the arrowheads and also make them thicker and now we have upwards and downwards pointing arrows i also want to have a line going across the middle of this to represent the boundary so to create that i am going to put another 0 0.5 here then in these two cells we'll have where you want the line to start and end on the x axis as my data goes from 1 to 10 i'm going to choose 0 and 11 so the line is slightly longer than my data then select the chart and right click and select data then add the series name i'll choose boundary the x values will be these values here and the Y values will be these values here. And as we have selected the same number twice for the Y values, this will make it into a straight line. And OK, and OK again. Now we have these two grey dots here. We will change this to be a solid line and make it black. Then go to Marker mark options and select none to get rid of the gray dots then select the axes and fix the maximum axis value as 11 and then change the minimum to zero so the line goes all the way across the chart then i will also remove the chart title and the grid lines and now we have a formatted up and down arrows chart. If I press F9, this will update the chart as it is changing the values in this random formula here. And it shows that the chart can be dynamic. So in this video, I have shown you how to make an up and down arrows chart in Excel. And that is everything.